Peace be with you everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Trevor, really grateful to have you here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over my top 10 cheapy perfumers. Uh, so I'm not saying that these perfumers are, uh, their quality is cheap, but that they are very skilled at creating a quality perfume with limited resources. Uh, so I'm gonna actually be talking about 20 fragrances, two fragrances per perfumer, all of which you can find for the uh, under $40 range. So I'm gonna just get right into the list and start off with Rodrigo's Flores Rue, who is the in-house perfumer for John Barbados. Uh, so I actually only have two fragrances from John Barbados uh, to recommend here. Um, I don't know if there's particularly that many other cheapy fragrances that he's done outside of the John Barbados line. He's done a lot of higher end perfumes like uh, Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino and um, uh, Hubigant Fougere Royale, I believe. Um, but other than John Barbados, he does perfume for Hawthorne, which is an indie perfume brand um, where you can pick up 50 ml fragrances for $50, even less if you use a coupon code. Uh, I haven't tried any of his um, fragrances from Hawthorne, but him alongside of Quentin Bish and Olivier Guillotine, uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right, uh, who's the guy who did Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. Those three guys all perfume for Hawthorne, so worth checking them out. They're, I've all, always gotten quality creations from them. Um, and then other than that, uh, Rodrigo's Flores Rue has done, like I said, he's the in-house perfumer for John Barbados, and these two fragrances are both ones I'd recommend, John Barbados Vintage and John Barbados Artisan Pure. I'm not going to go too much into the fragrances, I'm just going to be talking about the perfumers and uh, recommending two fragrances that are under $40 per perfumer. So, uh, Moving on to the next, uh, number nine spot is Daphne Bugay. Uh, so Daphne Bugay, two fragrances from her that are in the cheapy category that I really enjoy are 1920 The Origin from the House of Taos, uh, a little bit of a, a modernized version of Cartier Declaration, and then this fragrance Black Steel from the House of Victorinox. Uh, this is kind of like Dolce & Gabbana's The One if you took out tobacco and added leather. Both really great fall cheapies. Okay, number eight spot, uh, we've got Christopher Renaud, I believe is how you pronounce that, and he has done Coberto Cavalli, Roberto Cavalli Womo and Missoni Wave. Uh, I believe he's also, he's done all of the Roberto Cavalli fragrances, and I think there's a handful of other fragrances he's done that are kind of in the cheapy category, but uh, other than the cheapies, he's also the guy who did One Million, One Million Privé. Uh, and I think a, a couple other popular fragrances. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for uh, his work. And then number 10, 9, 8, 7 spot, uh, we've got Maurice Rossell. Uh, now I don't have a bottle of it, but he's the guy who did Nautica Voyage. Uh, so he's kind of king of the cheapies in that respect. Um, but he's also done Rojas Man and Lalique Pour Homme, the Lion's Head version. Um, so yeah, he's also the guy who's done Musk Ravageur and is just kind of a uh, well-known perfumer in the industry, but he's also kind of well-known for cheapies. Uh, these two and Nautica Voyage are both under his belt. That's Maurice Rossell. Okay, and then uh, moving into uh, the number six spot, we have Michelle Almarac, who has done Bentley for Men Absolute, which is actually a clone of Gucci Por Homme 1, which uh, he also perfumed. And then Mont Blanc Starwalker, this is a tester, so I don't have the cap, but uh, Michelle Almarac did both of these. I think he also did uh, Dunhill Desire Red, which I don't have and um, a handful of other like really popular cheapies. Um, but these were the two that I reached for in my collection right here, Bentley for Men Absolute and Mont Blanc Starwalker. That's by Michelle Almarac. All right, moving into the top five. Uh, f number five spot is Anique Minardo. Uh, so Anique Minardo, she's done a lot of popular fragrances, uh, Givenchy, Girius Rouge, um, I think Coca Rico, uh, which was a fragrance, I think might may, might have been released by John Paul Gaultier. I can't recall which who released Coca Rico, but uh, from the cheapies category, she's recently done Davidoff Cool Water Intense, and then not so recently, but one of my favorites is Jaipur Om, both the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum. 
so yeah, b both quality creations. I think she's also done a Zaro visit. Um, so check out her work, Anique Monardo, number five spot. Uh, number four spot is Carlos Benaim. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, he's also done a lot of uh, well-known fragrances. I think he's the perfumer behind Spice Bomb Extreme, uh, the original Calvin Klein Eternity. Uh, but the two I'm recommending from his portfolio are Chic for Men from Cal Carolina Herrera and uh, Dunhill Icon from, the, uh, from Dunhill. Uh, he also did Dunhill Century, but I wanted to uh, mix it up and not recommend two Dunhills. Uh, he's also done, I think, the original uh, Carolina Herrera for men, the tobacco fragrance in the kind of tall bottle. Um, so that's Carlos Benaim, number four spot. All right, moving into the top three. Uh, number three spot, we have Olivier Cresp. So Olivier Cresp is pretty prolific uh, perfumer. He's definitely one of the best in the business, but from the cheapy category, the two I'm recommending from him are going to be Mercedes-Benz Club Black. I think he's the like in-house perfumer for Mercedes. He's done most of their fragrances. I think he did the uh, popular uh, cologne version that was like a clone of Dior Homme Cologne and uh, all the other ones in that line. And then he also has done Versace Mano Fresh. So uh, fresh and sweet gourmandish uh, covers this full spectrum of Cresp's sort of, um, you know, uh, wet repertoire of fragrances. So check these both out, Versace Mano Fresh and Mercedes-Benz Club Black. That's uh, Olivier Cresp. All right, moving into the top two. Um, so in the number two spot I'm giving to Nathalie Lorson, and she is popular for her work with Lalique and Bentley. And then she also worked with Olivier Cresp, who is the, the number three spot on doing the Givenchy Gentleman line. Um, but from uh, Lorson's portfolio, I'm recommending Bentley for Men Intense and Ancre Noir à l'Extreme. Uh, both kind of somewhat challenging, somewhat um, polarizing fragrances, but I particularly enjoy both of these, and they're both really beloved in the community to collectors. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out on Nathalie Lorson's work, uh, but check these two out in particular, Ancre Noir à l'Extreme and Bentley for Men Intense. Okay. And the number one spot, perhaps to no surprise, is uh, probably the you know most prolific, uh, well-known perfumer. Uh, it hit after hit after hit from this guy. It is none other than Alberto Morias. And for him, I'm recommending uh, Salvatore Ferragamo Womo Signature and Versace Dylan Blue. Uh, these kind of same thing with Cresp cover like the full spectrum of fresh and uh, sweet gourmand. Uh, spring and summer, fall and winter. Um, he also has, you know, uh, he, he did uh, the Versace Pour Homme, the light blue bottle in this one. He's done uh, Givenchy Pie. Uh, I can't think of any more off the top of my head, but he's definitely like the most prolific perfumer and just covers such a range and is constantly at work and is continually pumping things out. Um, but yeah, so that was uh, 20 fragrances, two for each perfumer. So if uh, you're in the ballpark of trying to be on a budget and saving on your fragrance purchases, um, I would recommend kind of looking into these 10 perfumers and following their work, keeping tabs on what they're releasing because it, for me at least, uh, in my long journey of collecting cheapies, uh, and trying to find the best of them. Um, these 10 perfumers really stand out to me. Obviously, I have more than one offering that I would recommend all 20 of these fragrances. They're all great. Uh, the two that I'm kind of on the fence about, or actually really the only one I'm on the fence about recommending is Davidoff Cool Water Intense, and it's really just a personal preference. I'm not a fan of bubblegum sweetness, and I think this is a little bit more youthful than my taste would uh, admit, but all of the other 20 fragrances that I, or the other 19 that I recommended from these perfumers are great offerings and are worth checking out for sure. And uh, yeah, so uh, like I said, you've got uh, Rodrigo's Flores Rue, Daphne Bugay, Christopher Renaud, Maurice Rossell, Michelle Almarac, um, 
Anique Minardo, Carlos Benaim, Olivia Crest, Natalie Lorson, and uh, Alberto Morias. So check those guys out. Like I said, just if you're looking for a quality cheapie, those are going to be the 10 perfumers that I'd recommend following their work and uh, looking for something from them in order to find something quality for under $40. Uh, so I appreciate you sticking with me to the end of this video. I hope it was informative and brought you some value, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.